guys so in my last uh, video I forgot to talk about uh, this because uh, the monarch cannon received a massive buff yes guys the damage of this cannon right now is 28,600 points okay so guys that's actually a lot it makes uh, this the most uh, powerful cannon of the game after the rg32 cannon of course you already know that the rg32 is uh, really exclusive and it was uh, a reward for the players that spent uh, a lot of money in one of the previous modern warships events okay so we're gonna test uh, this cannon in action and we're gonna test uh, this uh, now look at that okay 87,000 bro that's a lot okay so remember that we have three cannons in this uh, warship okay so I need to use a repair kit and now I'm gonna use the torpedoes and to take some cover bro this is a tier 2 warship so it is uh, really weak so let's go back yeah I'm gonna stay over here we have another enemy right there that's the DPGX Okay, so remember that the CGX warship was uh, buffed too. So yeah, there's Admiral Nakimov. I'm gonna use this GTX nuclear missile. Pay attention to that, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try to destroy it. And look at that, bro, 150,000. Okay, so but I guess that it was with uh, the cannon. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it was with uh, the nuclear missile. That's why it was uh, so much because it was a lot of damage. So let's go for this guy, which is closer. Oh, okay, so that's USS Enterprise. Okay, so this is the perfect target for our cannons. Okay, so look at that. It's around 95,000. Yeah, like the damage of the all the missiles combined. Okay, 85,000 this time. I don't know if I missed. I need to stop, bro. Like, it is actually more difficult to hit the enemies if you are in movement. So yeah, I'm gonna destroy this aircraft carrier only using those cannons. So now we're going to destroy that enemy over there. It seems like my teammates are going to do it. Where are you, my friend? Let me do it. Let me do it with the cannons. Okay, so I couldn't. Look at that. One million damage almost only with the cannon. That's crazy. But don't go anywhere because now we're gonna test this cannon with Zumwalt. Because that's actually the best build that we could do for tier 3. With this cannon, of course. Okay, guys. So, the missiles was not the only buff that uh, this uh, warship received because now we can equip auto cannons uh, in this warship okay so this is the new buffers 40 millimeters auto cannons but we're not gonna test uh, the missiles or uh, auto cannons because we're gonna focus in the monarch cannon bro <laughs> get out of the way my friend uh, okay guys so this is such a powerful build and uh, now with uh, this powerful cannon Bro, this is crazy. This is why I call uh, this uh, the sniper of the game. So I want to use my X-51 missile, but first let's use the cannon. Yes, we have this battleship over here. So let me see the precision. It seems like I missed with one of the cannons, so let me aim better. Let's aim over there. Okay, so that was perfect. And look at that, we're gonna use the missiles. Okay, so let's use the cannons once again. No way, bro. I missed with one of the cannons. Bro, like that oil rig is so annoying sometimes. So, yo, who's over there? There's another warship. Okay, so remember that this was a bundle, this camouflage. And it was actually available in a lottery event, if I'm not wrong, I remember, on December. So, okay, so we have another warship over there, Mr. Kapatanam. Okay, so they already destroyed uh, that guy. So let's go for this uh, CN Type 094. So we're going to destroy you, my friend. A submarine, bro, 61,000 points. Okay, so let me go this way. If we can actually. Okay, that's better now. So remember that we only have two cannons, okay? So we don't have three, like in Itakayo Duilio. So it is a huge uh, difference. Okay, so this is better. And uh, now let's go for Visa Kapatanam. Okay, guys, pay attention to this. Bro, this is such a high amount of damage. Okay, so that was good. They destroyed that guy. And it seems like that's the last enemy, right? Yes, we have 
Veliki over there. So we're going to destroy that uh, Veliki. Let me do it and now. I'm gonna try to get closer. Yeah, we're gonna do it, my friend. And uh, take that. Yeah, that's better now. Bro, I missed with uh, the X-51. Okay, so this is a good amount of damage. Look at that nuclear missile. Okay, that's beautiful, guys. We're going to destroy this guy. Look at that. Almost 1 million damage already. Okay, so with uh, the cannon. Yeah, let's do it. And uh, finally, bye-bye, my friend. Look at that. Two targets destroyed. Almost 1 million damage dealt. Bro, like, this is so cool. Okay, guys. So I want to test uh, this in the practice mode. So yeah, look at this. That's a tier 1 warship. Bro. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Let's, let's test uh, this with uh, Yamato. Okay, two cannons, 58,000 points. Okay, so that's good. And let's do it again. Okay, so it wasn't that much. It is actually combining the damage of other weapons. I'm gonna try to shoot at uh, this uh, Gerald Ford. Okay, so it, it's around 58,000 points combined. Okay, so we're talking about two cannons. Remember that only one cannon could be around 28,600 points, which is still a lot for this cannon, guys. So I think this is a good decision. But now I remember that the Cupid Railgun was close to the Monarch Cannon, but now it is not uh, even close, bro. Like, it is not uh, one of the best cannons of the game. So, with the uh, Monarch, remember that this is a dollar weapon, okay? So, this is something free. It is not a premium thing that you could say, okay, so all the premium users will purchase uh, that cannon in the market because it is actually accessible to everyone. Okay, so look at that. There's Dimitri Donskoy, 57,000. That's what I told you. Guys, uh, this is a cannon that everyone must have, okay? So, it is the precision that we have with uh, this cannon, I think uh, that it is unique. So, something that I don't know is that they buffed also other characteristics, not only the damage, but also the speed and the reload time, okay? So, I don't know if we have some changes in that. Please, if you know something, comment below. Okay, so let me destroy the rest of the equipment because I have to do it now. Yeah, I'm gonna use all the weapons. Let's use uh, these missiles. Are okay, bye bye, my friend. Okay, so we have another Zumwalt. Zumwalt versus Zumwalt. Okay, my friend, let me use uh, these cannons. Okay, so that's cool. Look at that damage, bro. Like, it is crazy. So I feel like the reload time is kind of the same, or if they change something, it is not even significant. So yeah, that's the last target, it is Yamato. My friend, we're going to destroy you. Yeah, I'm gonna get right here. Hello, my friend, how are you? Okay, so look at all those missiles in action. Bro, like, I didn't even use the helicopter. Like, it is not necessary in this practice mode. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with the cannon. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so the last... Please let me do it. Okay, so I don't, wa I don't want to destroy it with the buffers. Okay, so it was with the Monarch cannon. Perfect, guys. So what do you guys think about this buff? Do you think that it is something good or bad for the game? balance okay so remember what i told you this is a free weapon everyone could get access to this and i think that it is a good option okay so that's actually my personal opinion that it is a good buff and it will be interesting to see the battles with all uh, those balance changes okay so it was a huge balance change as i showed to you in some previous videos not only this cannon but a lot of warships received uh, a lot of buffs in missiles torpedoes, grenade launchers, and even auto cannons. So it is crazy, guys.